What's up? Hey everyone, this is Mark again. Uh, today, I'm going to be reviewing the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Turtle Party Wagon. Or I'll also call it Mutant Attack Van, Turtle Van, whatchamacallit, from 1988. Box art's really cool. Um, got all your turtles up there, you know. Not bad artwork. Condition it came in, you know, corners aren't all that great. Um, really hard to come by one in good condition. I got this for the total price was thirty dollars and fifty cents. See, I want it for twenty dollars fifty cents and shipping was ten dollars. This thing came all the way from California. I am very surprised that it survived. <coughs> um, I've kind of had bad luck from ordering from California because I live all in Virginia, so that's a long trip, you know. Right now, if you go on eBay, there are two listings to buy it now, and one of them is kind of like in my condition right now, so buy it now for $39. And then one is brand new, buy it now, for $119.95. So, yeah, they're getting pretty hard to come by. And this back is really horrible. There's a big, thicker tear-off there. And, I don't know, dirt or something. Who knows? It's pretty gross. It's pretty bad. But thankfully, the van itself wasn't in bad condition. So inside the box I found all this cool paperwork um, at the very bottom it says bonus uh, national turtle quiz joke book inside very bottom there so here it is this is number 13 let's see what was the best joke I saw on here I'll just say one and then I'll scan it for you guys. Uh, <laughs> who does Krang like the best? The answer is nobody. <laughs> What's the most dangerous part of the foot cruiser? The answer is the nut behind the wheel. Yeah. Turtle humor. This is the uh, Turtle Fan Club. Thing, I guess. Uh, what you do is you collect your pizza points, which were on the back of the boxes. This one here has four points. The bigger the item, the more points you have, or the more rare the figure, the more points, whatever. You can get things like, you know, t-shirts, posters, sticker sets, memo pads, just little junk. Or if you have a lot of points, you could order the old VHS tape. So you had to turn in your pizza points and pay shipping on a small price. Yeah, there's the fan club entry. This is the volume 2 catalog order form. Yeah, I never got to do this as a kid. I don't think my parents let me or anything. <laughs> so yeah. Here we have the assembly manual. So you got to put everything together, where the sticker should go. It's getting in pretty bad shape. You know, it's old. And, uh, yeah. Now on for the item itself. And here we are, the 1988 party wagon. Woohoo! Uh, let's see, where to start? I guess condition of this wasn't not totally bad except for this sticker in the front here. See it's very, very, very you know, used up, beat up. I'm thinking maybe I can make one on Adobe and use some sticker paper for my printer or something. Uh, and then also this weapon right here is kind of bent. So I'm trying to work on that too, and I am missing one piece, and that's the radar. It's the only piece that this thing is missing. 
Uh, but usually you can find those things on eBay for 50 cents or whatever. Stickers okay. Wheels have a little bit of marks on them. That's average for this kind of toy being this old. And there's still a few, a few crown marks I'm still trying to get out. Uh, stickers are starting to show little bubbles. Another crown mark. It looks like uh, this thing broke off once. So there's, I guess, someone hot glued it or something. So I'm going to try to pick that off eventually, too. Bottom fine. Nothing special about the bottom. No, I guess, bottom for the inside. Now, usually I think when you open this thing, the top, could have sworn, could have sworn this thing was supposed to pop out. Like that's supposed to do it. <clears throat> and it looks like uh, still have the original rubber band. Oh, and also this is where the bombs are supposed to come out too. So let me redo that. Yeah, something like that. Inside, I had to clean out majorly. There were so many crown marks and just junk and dirt. And even the top here has a, has a mark or two. But at least I got them on nice and shiny. Same thing with in there. It was pretty nasty. I wish they would have had some stickers put like right here. Uh, like, you know, Donatello's electronics and trackers or whatever. You know, that would have been a nice touch, I think. Of course, this thing comes down. Now, as a kid, I remember this thing being able to stay up easy, but I can't get it to stay up unless I really, really mess with it. And I can't get it right now. So, I'm going to see what I can do about that. And of course these things twist, you know. Also, I think it would have been nice if they put some, you know, mirrors. Some kind of reflective sticker. And they didn't even come with headlights. I checked. This thing never came with headlights. I'm very surprised, so I think I'm going to add some on there too, because I'm a dork. And, uh, also, I meant to say, I found this sticker in the box too. I don't think this comes with this, so if any of you YouTubers know, please tell me. So that's about it for this thing. There's really not much to it. It's a classic item. And this was one of my favorite toys when I was a kid. It's kind of fun to have it back, I must say. <laughs> so yeah, be sure to check back here for more reviews. Thanks for watching. I want you all to become full members.